Hey guys, it's your boy Mark. Well, I have a beauty for you. You've probably seen me post some still images, but now I want to do one of my home tours for you. So hopefully we can secure uh, this floor plan for you. They also have like another six or seven to choose from. Prices are going to be pretty much from the fives to the sevens at this point. Slab and basement homes. Uh, down this way, I also did a drive through tour, which I'll post, but down here are the amenities, which include, um, there's actually a little pond back there, uh, playground, pool, and clubhouse. Uh, this is one of my favorites, though. I think you're really going to like it. It'll be interesting, I think, for you to see a staged um, home. Now, they are working on some electrical stuff in the house, so bear with me because there's some... Um, work being done but I had to run out here to show it to you one thing I want to show you here is an outdoor fireplace the homes sit on an acre of land top school district right outside of the community so let's go take a look um, over on this side where you see that truck it's gonna be a three-car garage right now they're using it as a sales center um, so let's head in because it's a big house we're uh, 3,000 square feet. And then if you end up getting one with a basement, finish it even more down the road. So you can see this is your um, staircase entranceway. Stack stone. You can see the stone. You'll have different elevations. Make sure a brick, stone, and hardy plank. It's showing this with a seating area. So you could probably put swing bed or rocking chairs or this kind of setup with uh, the wicker. Look to it. All right, let's go in. All right. So what you'll notice is beautiful, be beautiful defined yet open area. So when you first come in, you have this cutout area, which is your foyer. Showcasing it with a really nice size console table with mirror. They're working on some of the electric right now, so not all the electric is on, but you can see a light that comes over here. So this is screaming like art gallery or a beautiful mirror setup like it's showing. The light fixtures are really, really nice in here as well. Crown molding, we swing it around and you have your dining room. Dining room is very spacious. You got the two windows here. You could put really any size table because it's showcasing it with, uh, let's see, six. But if you want to add a leaf, you definitely can too. And this next phase that they're doing, they're gonna add this trim right here. See how it's about a quarter up the um, wall? It's actually gonna be about halfway up the wall. So that's going to be a nice added feature that they're going to do as well. We enter into the family room and you see it's got lots and lots of windows and doors. So a lot of light coming in here as well. Um, you can see there's a ton of furniture in here between the couch, a couple chairs. And you could also do a love seat here. You could do a build out in this area if you want to. What I would love to see, um, you know, maybe a shiplap wall or some kind of trim wall, design wall. If you wanted to add like an electric fireplace after the fact, that might be a good wall to utilize um, as well. All right. Uh, this is really exciting. This is what's called a keeping room. keeping room and it has some beams to it here in the kitchen and keeping room. So keeping room is basically like a sunroom, but it has a fireplace. You can see with the stacked stone, they added a TV above here as well. Curtains to this back wall. I'm gonna flip it around because this kitchen is fantastic. Let's see, it's got tons of cabinets. Um, they're the high cabinets too. They almost go to the top. You can't go all the way to the top because you do have the beams here. But look at this beautiful granite material. It's almost like feels like leather. You'll be able to go to a design center up in Swanee. And if you get in early enough before stage five of a home, you'll be able to go up there. And if you want to switch out your countertops or hardwood floors, you'll be able to do that as well. 
look at the size of this island is just gigantic and it has actual storage under here useful storage so you could put little pots and pans or candles or anything that you think would be decorative even like little plants plant shells those look really really nice this is where the refrigerator goes great area for a coffee bar you have your pantry here which is a walk-in pantry which is a really really nice size it's just showcasing it with the wall unit of the microwave and oven you could do double ovens with the microwave above the cooktop but i really like this setup i think in a community like this when you're at the fives to sevens this is what people are expecting so you're going to have the overextended vent hood which is gorgeous here's the you do a four or five burner gas cooktop and I like the setup, like I said, of the keeping room. You could also put another table here if you want to as well. Over here, you have a downstairs bedroom. This is actually a four bedroom that you could also make into a five bedroom as well. And if you do a basement, it could potentially be a five, six, or seven bedroom home. We'll take a look when we go down to the basement. Over here is the closet for it. I like the double windows in here as well. And then you have a door to get into uh, the bathroom. I love that dual door where you could use it for the hallway. You can see it has the tub shower. Again, if you wanted to add a uh, tile around here or do a stand-up shower, you can as well. I'm showing the sink, toilet, and the tile down. You have a closet here for your towels and linens. Show you the full kitchen view from here gorgeous right that island is really sets it off but you have the cooking area you have the gathering area the serving area a real serving area here well i'm taping this it's november of 2022 so we are about to enter the holiday season thanksgiving so you can imagine laying out your casseroles and turkey this is your washroom which is a true washroom really good size you know, we're going to see, you know, they're going to give you all the appliances minus the refrigerator and wash and dryer, but we'll see if we can get that thrown in for you as well. This is where you come in for your garage. That's tip right there to the sale center right now. Co closet. You got a half bath. This is great for guests. You have that full bath right as well, but this half bath, which most of your guests are going to use. And then this is a foyer area to head into your primary bedroom. Before you get there, you have yet another closet. And let's start walking in the primary bedroom. I'm gonna take my shoes off for right now because I don't wanna get it dirty. But as you can see, it's a primary with a sitting area. <clears throat> when they build this one, they're also going to, I was talking to the onsite agent, See this window here? They're gonna add another one here, so you're gonna have even more light. So this bed could anchor those two windows. So you can see it has the tray ceilings, the crown molding in the trays, the oversized crown molding in the interior, and then the sitting area. Now you could put a couch, you could put a love seat, you could do the setup that it has with the two wing back chairs is really nice. And then this is an upgrade option. You could see it has a door. So you can imagine, you know, if you want to, you know, most of the lots here are going to be wooded. So if you want to sit out at nighttime or in the morning with your cup of coffee, this will be the um, access point from the bedroom. This is a big winner to me. You can see how they did it with the pavers leading out to your fireplace outdoor fireplace and you can see the lot sizes are just dramatic and huge right it's an example of a ranch floor plan and this one the way they have it built so there's no water that will accumulate this is called a retaining wall and that takes all the water that would run from your gutters and how they graded it out and it would roll out this way so it keeps your foundation dry 
This is the hardy plank that's on the back of the house. That's a concrete material that's painted. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful primary bedroom. How about a dressing room? Dressing room with transom window leading into your primary bath. You can see with the shower, the soaking tub, the window, you got double vanity sinks. Again, I love that kind of leather granite that they put down here. And look at the size of this closet. His and his, his and hers, hers and hers. You could do one side of shoe closet. You could do one side of clothes. Of course, they're going to give you the wire racks, but if you want to upgrade um, down the road to the custom closets that we always talk about, California closets, you see the towels and linens, and then the separate toilet closet with window. One more look before we head upstairs. So you see there's two bedrooms here on the main level. I love this dressing room area. Let's look at that one more time. I love that. All right, let's head out. Got the rear staircase. We've got the wrought iron and the oversized banisters. Excuse me. The hardwoods are gonna be a standard as part of this phase. They weren't in phase one. Here is bedroom number three. This is going to be actually a five bedroom, I think, on this one. Uh, this is, you know, showcased as a, a boy's room, right? But I love the setup. They did a great job decorating this. A walk-in closet. This is going to be a Jack and Jill bathroom. So you have a nice little um, inlet here. Hey, guys. Toilet separation with the tile down. So you close these two doors and then you have your shower. Again, excuse the light because they're working on the electrical. Then the other person, the connecting bedroom would have their own sink as well, leading into this one, bedroom number four, which is a nice size. Walk-in closet, beautiful. Bedroom number five. I love this setup too. Get a little bench and ottoman. Another walk-in closet. Beautiful. And I love these like these hallways, right? Leading into each bathroom. With the tile down. Again. And then the privacy door, tub, shower, toilet, and sink. You have a closet. And this is the money maker to me. This is what sets it apart. Step up media room. <laughs> and as you can see with the windows, the views out back, the closet in here, if you ever wanted to convert this into a bedroom, you can because it has multiple closets. You see closet, closet, closet behind me, the wall of windows. But this is set up, as you can see, as the cinema room. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I also want to show you the basement, which is unfinished, but it gives you an idea. Just an absolutely gorgeous house. Can't wait to help you build this. This is gonna be amazing. Let me go into the basement. This is going to be where you're going to be able to build out bedroom number six, potentially seven as well. And look how much space they're showing it. They're not going to come with a finished bathroom, but they're showing you you could add another full bathroom. Media room, pool table room, home gym, another, basically an in-law suite. So you could do a whole other kitchen down here. This is just one half of the house. So guys, shoot me a DM if you're interested. Again, noon in Georgia. We have a great relationship with this builder and onsite agents are amazing out here. This is the other half of the house. We will definitely work with you, get you in front of the lender and get you to that design center. Start building your home. It's amazing one acre lots out here. All right, hit us up. Talk to you soon.